Hello everybody, and welcome to a late night rambling because I cannot sleep and I have poor sleeping habits. So today I wanted to talk about the brain and the simulation again just because I just really like talking about the brain and the simulation like a freaking dweeb. So anyways, so in my last, um, in my, in my video that we died in 2012 and now we live in a simulation, this person posted this comment and then deleted it right after. Um, I'm not really sure why, but I'll get to that in a second. So he deleted his comment, right? Here's the comment. And he deleted it. And it makes me really upset that he deleted it. Why'd you delete your comment? You were on the money. You were on the money, my guy. Why Why are you ashamed? You said, come, come on, don't be scared. Don't be scared, you got it, my guy. Like, literally, this, this person knows what I'm talking about. He knows what I mean. It's like, those are just, that is just one example of parallels within our universe to show that, hey man, maybe we're living in a computer simulation. <laughs> and the math thing, sometimes I think about that too, just math in general, how math just exists within our world in reality. Why does it blow my mind that math exists? Because I can't see it. I cannot see math, okay? Math are numbers, calculations, and measurements, and stuff like that. And I can't see that, but you know, someone might argue and be like, oh, are you looking at a car? Are you looking at a house? Well, that's math. It's geometry, blah, 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 whatever. Engineer, whatever, man. Besides that, when it just comes to math, I cannot see. <laughs> it blows my mind. Math makes me have to think really hard. I'm one of those people who are really good at English and then just really bad at math. Yeah, that's me. Sometimes I think about how math kind of... I don't know if you guys feel this way about math, but this is how I kind of feel about math because this is how freaking math feels in my brain. It feels like math, when I have to think about it, when I have to calculate stuff, it like... it bends it folds it grows bigger it grows smaller y you see what i mean it does this brain gymnastics that makes me think really hard about stuff and stuff math is almost as confusing as life bro <laughs> math is weird because math is literally something that we need within our universe to to measure out stuff and make things and whatnot, to know how hot it is and how how sturdy of a wall we need to make and support beams and stuff like that or like, you know, other math shit that helps us measure and calculate stuff within our world. Math is very interesting and useful like that, like how we, you, like how it's actually relevant in reality, period. Math may not be relevant in your everyday life, but just the fact that math exists within our reality to, th to do the things that it does blows my mind. <laughs> and then, um, man, I have a lot of thoughts right now. That math thought, I wasn't even, get, I wasn't even thinking about talking about math today. I was actually going to talk about, um, about dimensions and stuff like that. And I believe that there are, I think they say there's probably 11 dimensions within our reality or something like that in our universe. <laughs> something like that. I like to think about dimensions and stuff like that. And um, I believe there are definitely more than <laughs> five dimensions or so. Here's a little picture example of stuff that could kind of be dimensions like smaller world dimensions like or how there are or the one the one theory how some people talk about oh universes within universes i like that thought too the thought of how um basically atoms are just tinier universes and we just don't know it because they're so tiny and 
that's another way of like how reality is kind of an infinite loop in a sense and uh, kind of a, a it's a dimension in, a, in its own sense as well and people may think I sound freaking crazy but it's just it's just one of those thoughts I have and think about so I'll say that again I'm pretty sure some of you guys know this, the the universes within universes thing, like, oh, atoms are just tinier universes, and we're just our own universe, and our universe is also probably just an atom in someone else's fabric of reality, you know? Oh, so, how I mentioned dimensions. So, here's some easy um, dimensions that I could just name off the top of my head because I am just a pathetic human. So, one dimension is time. Time is one dimension because it only goes in one direction. Something that is two dimension is um, things you see on a piece of paper or on a screen. That's two dimension. Three dimension um Three dimension is something like our world. Go backwards, forwards, upwards, downwards. And then fourth dimension, I believe, is where you can go diagonal and shit like that. You can't go diagonal. But some smartass might say, Oh, yeah, I can't watch. And then walks diagonally. But no, man, we have to look at the graph. And then, okay, so this... I don't even know if I'm explaining this correctly, so you know what? I'm just gonna ditch it. So, you guys gotta get the idea. I'm not gonna get too deep into it. But the fourth dimension, this is where I get crazy. The fourth dimension is um, where our souls and spirits and shit are. That is the fourth dimension, and that's what I mean by diagonally. <laughs> um, so, they are in this dimension that we cannot comprehend nor see because we could only because we only exist on the third dimension does that make sense you guys i sound crazy so that's one fourth dimension is that spirit like realm that's there and <coughs> yeah so that's one crazy dimension i think of or here's another um, example of a dimension I think of sometimes. The dimension of like, oh, you know, like the, um, I believe it's called the Mandela effect, where you um, misremember something, but you swear it was that other answer. But no, really, it's always been this answer, but you swear it was that answer. You swear you thought it was, it was always the answer, but nope. It was this one. You just misremembered. Because this phenomenon is called the Mandela Effect. <coughs> and I think about that. And in my crazy head, I'm just like, what if? What if I just ripped myself from my old universe and accidentally entered this new universe where the fucking cow doesn't have a fucking ring on her fucking nose <laughs> maybe i just ripped out of a from my from my old world from my old dimension universe wherever i fucking came from back then into this one where she doesn't have a fucking ring on her nose like okay you see what i mean i probably just came does that kind of make sense do i sound crazy but i'm just trying to make you guys understand like I process these things. I'm just trying to show you the fucking kooky, crazy shit my brain thinks of. So, on the topic again of simulations, um, this is a more like less of the oh, we live in a computer simulation and more of like oh, haha. Ha. Life is literally a simulation. Oh my god, people would think I fucking sound crazy. Okay, but anyways, words to me in my brain are very mandible and mendable. And okay, they can mean a lot of things. Okay, so I think very abstractly that's something I learned about myself. 
but anything. Bear with me. So anyways, you know, because life's just literally a simulation because your brain is literally just floating in your brain. It's just floating in your skull. Your brain's just floating in your skull, bro. I think about that sometimes, but then I think about it too hard and it kind of grosses me out because then, like, it makes me think about how, like, I'm connected to, like, a spinal cord and stuff like that. And I go down, like, this spine and out into, like, a star shape. Fucking into a human being. And I'm literally just this pink thing floating in juices and very complex organisms that have created human fucking I'm just a brain man and I'm floating and did you know that your eyes are technically I think a part of your brain are your brain they're like parts of your brain they're brain I digress but yeah, your brain's literally just floating in this meat sack. And you're just simulating the world like, oh, it makes me feel like I'm wearing some kind of skin suit. It makes me feel less human and more just like, mm, yes, brain. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just this meat that has like all this nerve. I'm just the brain and the nerve system. And then everything else, it's, it's just my costume. I don't know freaky shit but yeah I think about how oh I'm just a brain in this um meat suit simulating this world and life like wow my fingers are so fleshy I think when I acknowledge that I am just a brain or like I'm not I'm not just a brain <laughs> fucking stupid anyways when I just, when I kind of acknowledge, oh, it's just, all the activities just all right here. I'm just, I'm all right there, in my head. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my head. Anyways, so. <laughs> I think every time I acknowledge that, I think it makes me more aware of my body in a weird sense. More of just kind of like, oh, huh, hmm. I have a digestive system, I have lips, I have like this face, I have, I have, to, I have like fucking joints that are probably wearing down. Oh my god, mortality? Oh fuck, oh yeah. Mm. And that's where I just stop thinking about it <laughs> and just think about other things. You see what I mean? That's what I that's what I meant by when I first mentioned it by I don't think about it too often anymore cuz <laughs> cuz oh oh you're a brain. I'm a brain. We're all we're just all brains in our brains fucking thinking or not. I don't know. <laughs> you know, sometimes I forget that I could only speak for myself cuz I don't know if you're thinking or not, you know. You know Random thing. Sometimes when I ask people, oh, how, how are you or whatever, and they say they're bored, in my head I'm like, how are you bored? You're bored? You're not like stressed or anything? Like, <laughs> okay, you're bored? Bro, there's so many things to do and be stressed out about. <laughs> but anyways, <clears throat> it's a windy um, night and it's like, I think 1 or 12, 30, I don't know. Anyways. I just came out here to have a conversation and talk and let my energy out. And you know what? I think this might just be a prime video. So that's um, what I got to say. I'm going to end the video here and uh, hopefully go to sleep or whatever the heck. Good night. <laughs>